We represent Global Crossing Telecommunications. Um, and we're, we have a, a short presentation here. We weren't exactly prepared um, for this convergence event, but we were grateful to all that um, helped us get involved. We were uh, grateful to be able to speak to you and tell you a little bit more about Global Crossing, about what we do as a company, the opportunities that are available with Global Crossing, and also we'll have Rob share um, some of his experiences over there, Rob, as he is a, a alumni here of, of, of MSU as we are, but he actually came to the telecom school, started with Global Crossing and made his way up uh, the ranks at Global Crossing into a director level role in our Phoenix office. So he can tell you a little bit about his experiences. So first I'm gonna start with um, so, sort of a high level overview of Global Crossing. Have you all heard of Global Crossing? Who's familiar with the company? Few of you, okay. But actually, how many are you are telecom majors? Okay. <laughs> All right. Am I doing this? Going in the right direction? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. So Global Crossing. Uh, we're a global company. We have 5,000 employees worldwide. We have presence all over the world. You can see by our map. The lines represent the fiber optic cabling that connect the continents all over the land here as well. We have um, the uh, terrestrial network. You'll see it's around South America, uh, uh, Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asia. So we have 5,000 employees supporting uh, that network and the customers that this network services. We uh, have enterprise customers, so those would be our Fortune 500 companies uh, that need end-to-end -end global networking solutions, voice data and conferencing. We also have carrier customers, so that's our wholesale team. Um, they sort of a reseller, if you can imagine. Um, large companies that use our bandwidth, uh, Google, Comcast, those are the types of companies that would um, be using our, our network here. These are some of our enterprise customers. You might be familiar with some of the names. GoDaddy, um, very clever commercials that they have. Um, but, uh, <laughs> But um, uh, they're just a, a very snippet of our customer base. Um, Rob, how many customers would you say? <laughs> Exponential, right? Okay, all right. Some of the big ones. Though. Some, some of, the of the major. Forty percent of all the Fortune 500 companies are, are uh, members of Global Crossing across the U.S. And these are our solution sets. Um, you can see a converged collaboration, traditional data transport managed services. So we have our hand in just about anything telecommunications related that you can imagine. When we throw it at collaboration, it's, you know, I, I saw in one of the earlier presentations um, talk about using tools in order to, to, uh, to, to work internally, audio, video, web conferencing solutions, being able to have presence, telepresence all over the world, work with your colleagues in other countries. Um, we in our global environment have got the benefit of working in a, in a global <coughs> environment, working with, with uh, employees all over the world, and we can see their faces, we can have these meetings, we can share our information real time, we can make updates real time. It's just really, really neat stuff, and this really benefits, um, you know, companies, any company, really. It's, it's some really cool stuff. So I uh, recommend anyone in here, everyone actually, to go to our website, there's a lot of useful information about about these things, um, and uh, it's just it's some really cool stuff. Um, I just wanted to highlight what Global Crossing strategic priorities are. This is something that we manage at a very high level, and we keep these in mind as we manage every project, every relationship, um, you know, every inter in, uh, interaction with the customer, every interaction with an internal employee, anything. We just keep these strategic priorities in mind as we you know work through our daily task load. Customers are job one, invest in products and services, focus on our people, and focus on financial performance. Our mission and vision, Global Crossing's vision is to be the recognized leader in global next generation integrated transport and hosting solutions. And our mission is to maximize the growth of our business by generating superior customer loyalty with the passion and commitment of our team and capabilities and assets we possess and create. 
some really high level stuff just gets you thinking in the mindset about what we're what we come to work every day to do and what we have to keep in mind as we approach um, our daily tasks. This is um, just a highlight of our data centers in uh, Latin America and uh, I think the, new, the newest one was London, right Rob? Uh, London Data Center, yeah. London, it just, it just up, operational. <laughs> And these are our very next generation Ethernet services. So these are some of the things that Global Crossing's personnel are all hands on, on deck here. 5,000 personnel working towards um, uh, these efforts here, these Ethernet services. I think this is, oh, actually this is the end here. So, you know, I just, I really wanted to just give a high level of what we do. Um, it's a very interesting environment, working in globally, languages, cultures, operating business in all these different re uh, regions, understanding what works in North America may not work in Latam, or may not work in EMEA, may not work in Asia, but just, you know, understanding that, learning from it, building relationships, networking, um, approaching projects with an open